Fraser here. Hey! Welcome. Thanks for having us. Can you uh, introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about when and how the band formed? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, I'm Chris Merritt. I'm Katie Simpson. We, we... Uh, we met in college, um, freshman year of college actually, at, at Holyoke Community. and We um, both ended up at UMass. We both ended up at UMass. And all through college we had played together, um, just like in groups though, not, not just solos. And then one night um, it was like it was right like, before we graduated. Yeah, it was right before we graduated. It was like an open mic for HCC alumni, and we played at it. And we just played a duo, and we were like, this kind of works. We yeah. should try some It was more. his idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was kind of around the same time um, where I, I personally had lost a lot of my relationship with music. Um, and a lot of what we write about and a lot of what we play is a response to that um, in our own personal ways. We, we write and talk a lot about mental health about like the space that you fill in this world and how you can like take ownership of that. Um, our writing, we don't really have like a writing form, like sometimes Chris comes in and he has a line and we base it around that, sometimes it's poetry driven, sometimes I think of a feeling and like we try to write together for that, um, but it's been great, yeah. Yeah, and that's formed into an album. Yeah, album, right? it did, we just released our first EP, right. um, it's called The Landing. That's, um, that's out now. It's it is. Now. Uh, we officially released it this past weekend. Great. We were lucky enough to record with some friends in East Hampton at Homestead. Uh, Caroline and Caroline O'Leary and Josh Daniel helped us out, mm -hmm. and they were great. Um, great. We're really happy. We had a local artist, Nico Palazzi, did all the artwork, so that was cool. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what about the process of those songs and how they came together onto this album? What kind of process was that? Good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We actually we started doing originals and like we started playing just like covers, like trying to do like. A lot of like, just like do a lot of rock covers, a lot of different things where we Jimmy can like, Hendrix, Jimmy stuff Hendrix, like that. where we can try to make stuff work. And we started writing, and we found out that like bass and voice, like if we're writing it ourselves, like it kind of meshed together yeah. well. And if, like, if we had like a little control over it like that, you know? absolutely. And like the confrontation of like the the bass against voice kind of embodies what the grays is, you know, as well as a thought, as everything. Um, and I feel like our instrumentation and our words and everything kind of came together to become this entity that is the landing. Um, so that's kind of like our first statement, I guess. What about the name of the band? Well, the name initially, uh, we named ourselves after the Greys, the alien race, um, which I still I very much identify with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be the theme. Yeah. Absolutely. But um, it also kind of evolved into this like gray area. Um, nothing being black or white and like accepting that there's a gray area. So it's a little bit of all of that, I guess. Yeah. And it's, uh, other, were there questions early on about additional instruments or additional band members? It yeah. Like maybe yeah, on our, on our album we have a saxophone player, Matali Banda, Banda and uh, Jared Campion playing guitar, both on separate tracks. And um, with our like longer gigs and stuff, we try to... We like to we'll, do like a we'll, set of us, yeah, a set featuring someone. Yeah, like a someone. featured set of a different artist, you know, we play with them which is cool too. But know? when it comes to writing, I feel like we've really like kind of come up with this rapport between the two of us that we really like to stay true to too. Well, uh, what if, I hope this is, isn't uh, impertinent, but what are you two learning about each other? You went to school together. Yeah. Not expecting necessarily to be in a band together. You yeah. Be getting to know each other on a more personal level too. Absolutely. I mean, I think as friends, like, you know, being music students or any kind of students and learning to like see art in certain ways you need a really strong support system. And I feel like even with Matali Bond and Jared Campion, those were all, even Caroline and Josh, those are all people we went to school with, which is cool. You build this community of artists, which is something that I'm really proud to have come, you know, been a part of. And I think our friendship is definitely stronger, you know? Yeah. I feel like through our music, we know each other a lot better. It's cool. It's cool. And you're getting to play out a bit around the area. Tell yeah. us about where, you, where people might like Spot you. Yeah. We um, play at um, we play at abandoned building brewery in East Hampton. We a have lot. a show coming up March sixteenth uh, there. Yeah. Um, we'll play at Ashfield Lake House in June. Yeah. We played there before. Um, in April we'll be at the Wheelhouse in Greenfield. Mm -hmm. um, if you follow our Facebook or go to thegraves.com, you could find our full list of shows. We have a lot coming up that we're excited about. Yeah. Up and down the valley. Yeah. Up and down the valley. That's Great. right. Great. Hey, uh, anything to say about? what you want to do here tonight uh, about sure. the set or where these songs come from? Absolutely. We're going to play um, four to five, depending on our time. Songs off of our album. We have one that's brand new that's not on the album. Um, and we hope that that will shed a little light on who we are. Great. Well, thank awesome. you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Great.